Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm giving you guys a look at one of the um, new Harry Potter sets from the August 2021 release. Um, and it is the Hogwarts First Flying Lesson. It is set 76395, ages seven plus, with 264 pieces. It retails for about $30. And it is a Kohl's slash Lego store exclusive, which I feel like is a weird exclusive uh, place, but oh well. Anyways, um, this one goes with the same theme of the 20th anniversary, obviously, um, but it doesn't like directly tie into the castle itself. It's like an add-on build. So the build itself is the same, but it doesn't stick to the castle. Uh, you could probably make it stick if you wanted to, but... Yes. Just like some of the other 20th anniversary sets, we do get a golden figure. This one is Professor Quirrell, um, which I guess they didn't have another set that would work well with putting him in, so they put him in the first flying lesson, but that's fine. And he's all golden, and then on the back says 20 years Lego Harry Potter, so pretty cool. Um, he does not, yes he does, oh my gosh, this was my big question, is if he had Voldemort on the back of his head. He does. It looks a little bad because um, it's printed in gold, but you do get him, which is nice, and you get two chocolate frog cards. Um, my chocolate frog cards this time are Pickery and McGonagall. So only two with this set, and then you get three minifigures that are in the set, which we'll go into. First off, we have um, Madame Hooch with a brown broom, and this is about the third or fourth time, I think, that they have made it Madame Hooch. Um, she does have a really nice blue outfit, um, again, like you see in the first flying lesson, um, and she's got a little whistle on her neck there and a tie. Um, I like her little gloves, and I think her face looks really good. Um, and then she, yeah, does have her goggled look on the back as her second face, and then no particular printing on the back of the... Um, body but she does look pretty good it's nice to get another version of her as well we get a year one neville Longbottom, which is actually really nice because we don't have a year one neville i love his little buck teeth the head is obviously reused and he has um neville hair and then he just has the normal little hogwarts body um with the cloak it looks really good it technically oh here's him sleeping um which is a reuse from the minifigure series cmf um, head, but it's actually inaccurate technically that they have these kind of robes because we don't see these till year three. And then finally we have Malfoy and it's always nice to get another Malfoy because he's not as frequent of a character as the or normal three. Um, he has a rememberal here which is double-sided red smoke on one side and clear smoke on the other. Um, I have him set here where he has red smoke because he's forgotten something and he's really mad about it. So you can see his angry face here and then his um, somewhat angry face there. And he has super yellow banana colored hair um, and is also in his little Hogwarts robes. Very cute, nice again to get Malfoy in his robes um, as a young student. Moving on to the actual set itself. I think it looks pretty good. It is modular in the way that it comes apart. You can take each side apart um, and clip it together. I think it looks best in this direction though. Um, you can see the old school front door, which I really, really like. This is the old Harry Potter doors. They stopped doing those. Um, and have brought them back for this set. And you have a lantern up here and a mix of some brick um, with some tan to give it kind of a, a um, stone wall look. And then we have all the Hogwarts houses, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and over here Slytherin and Gryffindor. I also do like that. It shows that you're kind of in a Quidditch area. Um, and the outside I think looks pretty good overall. Um, flipping around back, well, I guess I should say, since the statue was up here. We get a nice statue, if you remember from um, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone that um, Harry hits the bludger um, between the swords of this statue and then Oliver Wood says, oh, you'd make a fair beater. Um, so I like that they included that statue because it's pretty accurate to the movies. Um, so that's up there too and it also just stands out on to, as to where they are. Um, flipping it around, you see some more um, it's relatively bare, but you do see some more um, Quidditch-like things. You have a little barrel here, which seems like such a original Harry Potter thing to do is just to stick a barrel in a random place. And this box has the Quidditch supplies, which I'll show you in just a moment. Here's the other side of the door. Um, and then you have a control here, which moves this. Um, obviously, you have these clear stands, flight stands. Um, and you can move that little thing and control like Neville or whoever you want to put on the bottom. It is nice that it includes... Uh, three total so that everybody can be flying and you can move these um, just up and down in that direction. Um, you can also switch them from here to here and put them however you'd like in that way. Um, and then the best part of this set in terms of the rooms is this little trophy room. You have a little um, plaque with some of the, I guess, Gryffindor Hall of Fame Quidditch players with James Potter. You have a trophy there in the case, which looks really nice. 
um, a quaffle up there and then some other trophies on the top. I really, really like that. And then taking a look at some of the Quidditch supplies, um, we have all of them actually, which is really cool. So you have the beater club, um, the quaffle, the golden snitch, and then two bludgers, which uh, they could have done better. They probably could have made them those little black balls that they've done in the past, but they made them brown. So, and I guess sort of rough looking with the two studs stacked on top. I like that they tried. Um, they have made Quidditch sets now several times over. Um, so I like this one. It's not the Quidditch pitch, which I appreciate, but I do have very fond memories of the very original Quidditch one. It was my very first ever Harry Potter Lego set. So um, <clears throat> it is nice to see them continuing on with the theme in a way. But I really do like this. Um, definitely, if you have the other sets that go with the 20th anniversary, this one is absolutely worth picking up, in my opinion. Um, I don't know why they waited to release this one in particular, because I don't think they released anything else Harry Potter in the month of August. Um, but nonetheless, nonetheless, it is very cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.